Hey everyone! Today we are upcycling this old vest into a dog rain jacket with hood. First, I'm checking directly on my dog how to adapt the armhole of the vest into a collar for the new jacket. I'm marking in the fabric the measurements of my dog so I can cut the other side of the vest. Here I'm marking the final parts that I have to cut, leaving about 2 cm of seam allowance. As this vest has a nice velvet edge, I'm unstitching it to carry a plate later, and I'm also unstitching the pockets. Finally, I can cut all of the extra fabric and adjust the final pattern, cutting along the marks I did before. Here I'm just sewing back the velvet hedge along the raw edges of the jacket. Do you remember the pockets? Ok, I'm using them to make a little hood. To make the pattern, I've pinned the two pockets together and I've marked the fabric directly on my dog's head. Remember to also match the pattern of the hood in line with the pattern of the jacket collar. So now, just sew the two sides together. Now I can sew the velvet edge along the raw edges of the hood. I'm sewing zigzag stitch along this raw edge on the back of the hood that I left without seam, because from here I'm gonna sew it to the jacket. I'm sewing the hood to the jacket with straight stitch along the edge of the collar. I'm sewing a strip of velcro with zigzag stitch on the front closure of the jacket. To give stability on the back part of the jacket, I'm applying two strips of elastic, big enough to can fit the back paws of my dog. Ok, we are nearly at the end of this project. I'm using buttons fasteners to can place the hood in two different positions. I'm sewing two female parts of the buttons on the hood and two male parts of the buttons on the jacket collar. I'm also sewing other two male parts of the buttons further back on the jacket to can stop the hood from moving when needed. Mm -hmm. 
and here it's the final result. It's very easy to put on my dog. And as you can see, I did not make any underclosure because the fabric and pattern make the jacket stay already flat. And also because of the type of harness I use, which helps to keep it all in place. Thanks everyone so much for watching and see you at the next project!